this is becoming incredibly regular now. Mm-hmm. Any time any group on the right wants to gather mm-hmm. in public, they face mm. this absolute incivility, this abuse. And actually, I saw this at the Conservative Party Hastings in Eastbourne. Mm. It is physical intimidation. This is not protest, in my view. No. Well, I mean, they say at the core of the Lib left is the very spoilt child, a s- sort of tantruming. It's what we saw just now in the clips, tantruming children, but adults. Um, and I think this is becoming <clears throat> far too regular. You had at the 2019 Tory conference that huge banner across the bridge saying 130 thousand killed under Tory rule, let's level the playing field, with effigies hanging by their necks off the bridge. This is the kind of sort of depths of, of, of violent narrative that they are sinking to. But you get it as well when women try and congregate about their, their sex-based rights, they're smoked bombed by left-wing trans activists, when you see Extinction Rebellion and the depths they go to. It's almost as if they've, they've given up on the ballot box, So the only way they can win over people is by demonising those who don't agree with them and becoming violent. And you do see a sort of two-tier reaction from police to left-wing protests as opposed to right-wing protests. I remember being on a Brexit protest and not many women would join me because they say, I don't want to be spat at, I don't want to be called a Nazi. So it's David Lammy, you know, inciting hatred against anyone who voted Brexit and calling us worse than Nazis or the ERG worse than Nazis. That had a direct absolutely. effect on a- people. Absolutely. I completely agree with all of that. And Carol Malone, do not tell me if you had senior politicians on the Labour front pitch oh. having to be escorted in to the Labour conference last week, it would have led the BBC News, Sly News and ITV News all week. There's a double standard. I mean, I've been going to to conferences for years and this on the left is not unusual. This this has been happening for years where delegates going in are spat at, they're abused, they have eggs thrown at them, they're physically intimidated. You saw what that lab was doing to Michael Fabricant. And the claim is, by the way, that that Fabricant was actually pushed. I I saw that. But we didn't see that on camera. But you know, you were talking about the cops before laughing. the Manchester police chief is a guy called uh, John O'Hare. He said we have to get the balance right between what is a peaceful protest and, and, and when to step in and yeah, protect yeah, yeah. safety. Yeah. Well, you failed miserably, matey, if you're watching, because mm. all the delegates going in said that they felt intimidated and scared. That would, Can you imagine if anyone had spat at Angela Rayner or abused mm. her? She'd be on every single news programme mm. screaming about it. But Labour seems to get a pass where this thuggery is concerned. There's always an excuse why they're doing it. If the right had done it, you're right, there would have been cries of Nazi, far right, all that stuff. Tories, to my knowledge, have never done that at a Labour conference. Not ever, as far as I can remember. And yet, this happens year after year after year. Mm. Do you remember what they did to Laura Koonsberg in 2017 yeah. when she came to the Tory conference? And she, the, 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 the misogynistic hate campaign against Koonsberg was beyond shocking. And this was because the left had decided that she mm. didn't like Jeremy Corbyn and was biased against him. Well, you know, the rest of the country didn't like Jeremy Corbyn either, as we, <laughs> as we discovered. But, you know, she was not biased. She was a very good reporter. And yet, and she left, you know, I mean, she, it didn't take m- too long after that before she packed that in. She wasn't going to do it anymore. You can't live under that level of threat. Were there any arrests made? Were there people prosecuted for doing that to her? I doubt it. There was 15 arrests made today. I think five people were charged. And the police chief was actually making the excuse and saying that the new fences protect delegates. No, they don't. We saw clearly they didn't protect the delegates mm. who were very scared. The mm. fences that should have been, you know, when Fabrican was walking in, there was no cops there, nobody protecting him. And uh, Jacob rees mogg has been very graceful mm. because, of course, the way to deal with these idiots is to, to laugh at them. However, um, that wouldn't apply to women because women would be scared of that. No questions. <laughs> 